going on miners and welcome to an episode of rabbits guides a new section i am adding to the channel which i show you how to mine certain cryptocurrencies with certain programs in today's guide we will be going over xm rig and how to mine raptorium in windows 10 as well as hive os <laughs> Okay, here we are guys, XM Rig version 6.16.0. Now I do urge you guys, please hit that subscribe button, thumbs up button, as well as bell notification to be notified for future videos. First step in this guide is we're obviously in Windows here and we gotta download this miner. Links for everything will be in the description if you do need anything. Uh, it is recommended MS VC version, Windows 64 zip is what we're downloading, but there is something you gotta do first. If you just go ahead and try to download this, Right away, hit save. You see down here, it is blocked. We're gonna have to do some settings here. So depending on the browser, I am using Brave browser. Google Chrome is pretty close to the same as this. You just click on a new tab here, open up your settings whenever I find it. Here we go. Open up our settings tab right here. Look for something that says privacy and security and then find whatever does have security and no protection. There we go. Turn off, just temporarily leave that open like so. Go back. Now we'll just discard this and click it again, hit the save, wait for it to do its little thingy here. Once it's finished downloading, then like you see, now we are done downloading. Go back into our security here, put your standard protection back on, close the tab and you're good to go. You have it downloaded and your security settings are back on. Step number two, we do have to extract this miner. Now I like to keep all my miners in the same location. So I do have everything set at download. So anything I download goes there. Depending where you are default, it will go into your documents. So just double click on that and it will bring up your whatever program you use. The default Windows program, WinZip will work for this. I use WinRare myself in case I need to do 7Z files or something like we did previously need for the CPU miner GR, but any program will work to extract uh, this zip file for XMRIC. So now we're gonna extract that to where we want it to go. Again, I put everything in the same location. So I got my miners, CPU, I'm gonna go into Raptorium here and we're gonna create a new folder. And I'm gonna name this one because I have one, but I do wanna do a fresh start for all you guys out there. And we're going video test new folder okay good to go navigate to wherever you did decide to extract it here you can see video test everything's default so for the purpose of this video and there's two ways you can set this up and i'm going to show you both ways to do it first one is just using the rtm ghost rider example here first thing i always do right click on xm rig go to properties go to compatibility and then run this program as an administrator, hit apply and hit okay. That way, no matter what you do, whether you run it from XM rig directly for the JSON file format, or if you run it from the, the bat file here, it will run XM rig as administrator. You do need all your CPU mining programs to always run as an admin in order for it to enable huge pages and MSR mod. Starting with our bat file, I'm gonna right click here on RTM Ghostwriter example. We're gonna edit that. And this brings up everything you need. So all we really got to change here is the pool you want to mine to and your wallet address. That's it. So uh, to find a pool, all you got to do is go to miningpoolstats.com raptorium. And I will have a link in the description. And you can click on any of these pools that you choose to actually use. If you click on it, it'll give you all the stratum and IP and everything that you need to connect to that pool. For the purpose of this tutorial, I am going to be using the pool I personally use myself, and that is the Raptorium 011 data pool. So I'm just using the previous config because it has everything I need right here for me. I'm going to right click that, copy it. I'm going to add this into my pool address right here. So I'm going to get rid of the default. I highly recommend you to always check out your default. People have issues with that and they start mining to a pool they don't want to and they can't find their address and all sorts of things do turn into issues, which I'll kind of go over later on in this video. And next up, we're going to have our wallet address. This is where all your Raptorium will go to uh, when you're done mining. You get the payout depending on the pool. So we just get rid of this wallet address right here copy that in and that is it we're done it is that easy just to be using that so obviously we do have to save that and then i'll get this up and running so i'm going to double click this for you guys it'll ask to run as admin because we already told it to set it to that earlier yes and there we are we're up and mining you can see right there good to go it is that simple the other way you can set this up is through the json file in its own personal config so again right click 
hit the edit button. Here you'll come across all this stuff. You can ignore everything right here. We're gonna scroll down until we do find where it says donate and your wallet address. Now people are saying, you know, uh, I'm donating. I keep mining to the donating address. I don't know what's going on. Why? That's because you're probably mining to this URL. You probably set up your bat file, which I showed you earlier, but you're double clicking on XM rig. When you double click on XM rig, it uses the config, this JSON file to actually do its mining. So if you do set up the bat, uh, bat file version, which is RTM Ghostwriter example, you got to double click this one and then it'll engage XM rig and bypass the config. Now, in order to run XM rig directly, this is the file you're gonna have to fill out. Now, this pretty much follows the exact same format that we've seen previously. So I'm just gonna open up our previous config because we just need all the same things out of that. Now, you only need to set one of these up. You do not need to set up both, but it has my information here, so I'm gonna paste it in. So first, again, we are gonna take our address. We're gonna copy that, and we're gonna put it right where we see URL right here. So we're gonna erase this. Remember, these quotations have to stay. If you accidentally get rid of it or something, it will not work. So again, you'd have to come back to this config and make sure everything is correct. So that will work for my address. I'll just show you right quick. If I get rid of that, see, that will not work. That quotation has to be there at the end as well as at the start. Next up, we're gonna need our address here. So I'm gonna copy that over, worker name as well. Now for the worker name, if you're using the O11 data pool, only, no spaces, no special characters. It can only be numbers and letters and one word, as you can see here. Example, Rabbit Mining WS for workstation. It works. If you put, say, uh, a dash here, that will not work. If you put a space here, that will not work. It has to be altogether one word after this period to put in your word name. Remember, that's only for uh, the O11 data pool where you need to do that. Now, so I'm going to put in my wallet address. I'm copying that straight over right here. Don't want to go too fast because we'll get rid of that quotation. Bam, and that now we have that all set up. Now in editing this JSON format, we do have to enter one extra thing that we didn't have to do in the bat file, and that is add our algo. Originally here, it is null, so nothing will happen. It won't connect anything. We do have to put in the Ghostwriter algorithm. And again, you got to put in that quotation and then Ghostwriter quotation. Now, if you don't have the quotations there, it won't work. If you just put GR, it won't work. It has to be Ghost Rider within the quotations. Again, if you're having issues, double check, make sure everything is right, and it will work. You will not have any issues. People are saying, I must have had issues, but I've been using XM Rig for quite some time, whether it's been mining XMR, Haven, other coins for the past couple of years here on my workstation. And you just have to have your config right. Usually when there's errors, it's always the simplest thing of something is wrong in your config. Everything does look good here. So I'm going to file, save. Remember, you make sure you save it. If you don't save it, it won't uh, keep your settings. And now we can double click on this. You can right click. Uh, come on, there we go. So you can right click run as admin, but because we previously did tell it to do it, you can just double click this and it should start running. There we go. We're now running it by default through both ways. So I can either run it that way if I want or I can go back and just use the bat file. Both of them are set to work up or work correctly. Now, if you want to put this on your desktop, all you got to do is right click, hold it down while right clicking, let go and it'll set create shortcut here. And then you can just name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to name this video test like so. And then I'm going to close all this out. If I double click this, we should be up and running. Yes, start mining. There we are. Everything set. That is how you set this up in Windows 10. Now let's move on to Hive OS. We're going to start from the very start here so you guys know what to do. So the original thing you're going to have to do, obviously, here is we're going to need our wallet. So we're going to open up our wallets tab here. We're going to click on Add Wallet. Pick our coin. It's going to be Raptorium. You paste your address right here, and then all you got to do is name it. Name it anything you would like. That way you'll remember that's your Raptorium wallet. Again, everything is coded by the coin you want to use. Hit create and you're good to go. Your wallet is set up, all set. So and actually, in order to get your rig to run, we got to set up a flight sheet. Just click on your flight sheet right here. We're going to pick RTM, Raptorium. There we go. We're going to pick our wallet. Depending on whatever you named it, I have a whole bunch of wallets here for testing and all sorts of stuff. So Raptorium is my main wallet. Pool, because I'm going to use the O11 data pool again, some of these other pools are already in here by default, but we're going to configure this in the miner, and then we're going to pick XM rig. So let's put XM, type it in, it should pop up. XM rig new right down here, and then name it whatever you want. So I am going to go RTM video test. So again, but we got to set up our miner before we create our sheet. So we're going to click on the 
little yellow here, set up minor config. And this is where we pretty much enter everything we previously did. First thing, wallet template right there. Boom. Just click on that. This is wallet plus worker name. It'll pull all that from your initial worker names, pool address. This is where we're going to add our our 11 data pool in. I just went and copied my pool. So there we click it. Bam. There's the pool. It is in there. We don't need any password. I do recommend take a huge pages. Go 1248. You don't really need it on a Raptorium, but it's just a habit for Monero, XMR, you know, other coins out there. Now highlight over the eye, click right here. All your huge pages and everything is in your config. You got to make sure you turn your CPU on like so. Now everything is good to go here. We got the latest. We got the XM rig fork. We got our wallet and password. I'll show you what this really means right here in a few seconds here, but this should run right now. So we're going to apply changes. We're going to create that flight sheet. Here's that flight sheet made RTM video test XM rig new flight sheet. So we're going to go turn off a rig here and I will engage that flight sheet so you can see it. So I'm going to go with rig five, I guess is using an older version or my other normal one. So we're going to unset that to turn off your flight sheet. We're going to pick the one we just made, which is, where is it? We got to find it here. Sometimes I have so many here. It's hard to find. It's got to be, oh, so many RTM ones. RTM test miner, RTM video test right here. So XM rig new. We're going to send that to the moon. Hitting the rocket ship engages your flight sheet, which is like double clicking on your bat file or something in Windows. Now I do want to SSH in just so I can initially see what the miner is doing. Click up here to remote access. Hit shell in a box. Default username is user and your password is one. Just hit that. Once that loads, just type in miner, enter, and then now you have your dashboard. We are up and running in Hive OS on XM Rig Mining Raptorium. A few little bugs here that'll quirk out. You can see it's using 12 of 12. This is a 3900X, so we should have 24 threads here. It is 100% using the CPU, but it is worked out in the dev does mention uh, it is a bug. It's only reporting half the threads when it is using all of them. So just times each, thre each thread by two and you'll know that this is 24. So don't be worried if it's not saying you're using all the threads, you are using all the threads in that CPU. Now I do wanna to touch a little bit on what I was saying with the worker name you can see right here. So we're gonna go into here, edit. Now if you are having issues, especially with the O11 data pool, the main issue is what I said with the Windows version is that worker name. So you can change it right here. So you can see the wallet uh, dot, and then you got your worker name pull. This pulls your worker name and it pulls your wallet, all the data you previously made. So you can delete this and put in like uh, rabid mining right here. And that could be my new worker name. But if you decide to use the same flight sheet on all your rigs, it will name all your rigs that because that's what we have in this flight sheet. So everything will be named rabid mining. Only one rig will pop up, but you will notice like a higher average hash rate or something because all the rigs are actually running but under one rig so it's not displaying every rig individually they're all under the same name so we're going to cancel out of here we're going to go to overview we're going to go back into our rig so we are in rig five right now i just want to do it from scratch so rig five if you actually go to your settings here you can see name rig five so if you change this so if i went rabid here rabid mining right there oh i don't know how to spell rabid mining right there oh mining mining oh my gosh i'm butchering this guys so rabid mining then I just hit update worker. That will change my worker name from rig five to rabid mining. That way each rig here does have separate names. You can use the same flight sheet. So like as you can see, I have a bunch of different rigs here. They're doing multiple tests right now on different coins and Raptorium with different miners, different minor versions. So I got a bunch of stuff happening right now. But if I wanted, I can use the same flight sheet instead of setting everything up and just clicking on this, hit the same flight sheet to the moon, rocket ship on all of these. You can use one flight sheet for every single rig and it will work. But again, like I said earlier, if you have it all on your other, if you change your name the other way, they will all be called the same worker name at the pool. So you'll only display one rig. Okay, so we're gonna look at a few of the issues you may see. So if your miner is doing any of these, we're gonna show you how to fix it. So again, if one of these uh, quotations are missing, like so, we're just gonna hit the save button here. Now we're gonna run our miner. And it does, see it won't even boot up. So if you're having this issue, it's because this command line is wrong. So we're gonna put that right back in there, hit the save, and then run it again. And you can see we are up and running, it is working. Next up, we're gonna take rid of this here. So we're gonna get rid of it. And if you don't add that, so this is the default, like I said earlier, null. So if it's still at null, you add that in, you will get this and it'll just hang. It'll just hang here, not do anything, nothing's going on because you did not put the algo. 
Here it does say it's on auto, but it won't do anything. You are stuck. So again, we have to put in Raptorium. We're going to put Ghost Rider. Oh, I can't spell. Actually, I think I have it copied and pasted. So we're just going to go like that. We're going to get rid of both quotations. And again, it shouldn't boot, but we'll just try it just to make sure. And see, nothing. Nothing's going on. So you do have to make sure those quotations are there. Bang and bang. Save again. Quotations are there. The algo is in. And you're up in mining. So that's all you have to do. Now, remember I was saying people were mining to the uh, donation address. That seemed to be a common issue. That is, again, because you set up your bat file, which is this file right here, and you did not engage this file to go. You actually clicked XMRig, which, again, runs off the config, which is this setup here. There's two ways to set it up. I showed you them both, and I showed you the troubleshooting for both of them. So, again, if you are running into issues, review this video again. Make sure that you are running all the parameters correctly and your miner will work with absolutely no errors. All right, guys, that does sum up this video. So hopefully you are up and running on XMRig with Raptorium in either Windows 10 or Hive OS. Now, if this miner has an update and some more tweaks we do have to look into the future, obviously I will make an updated guide for it. If there's any other tutorials and updated guides you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. Please hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, as well as bell notification to be notified for future videos. I'll see you guys on the next one. Rabbit out. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you haven't, please comment, subscribe, and like this video, as well as check out one of these other videos if you have not seen it yet. I do try to stream every Saturday and Sunday, so stay tuned for more future content.